The fascination with old, decrepit structures has been an ongoing trend for quite a while now. It could be that abandoned places left in ruins scream adventure and peril for those who seek thrills and excitement. However, exploring places like this may come with a price. We're your hosts, Anthony and Amanda Valentine, and we bring you Four Urban Explorations Gone Terribly Wrong. There are many hazards that come with exploring the condemned buildings. You could be seriously injured by falling debris or holes in the floor. The biggest threat, however, are those who tend to claim these places as their own. This video, uploaded by YouTuber Yusuf Ahmadi, shows his exploration of an abandoned school. He equips himself with a dusk mask, which was a very smart thing to do considering asbestos is a real concern. He then proceeds to crawl through a hole made in the wood barricading the window to get into the building. As he explores various classrooms, bathrooms, and even an old gym, he stumbles upon something terrifying. Throughout a few of the rooms, he stumbles upon scattered pieces of gun ammo. He collects quite a few things, from 9mm casings to a shotgun shell, which in hindsight makes a lot of sense considering what's about to happen. After laying the used ammunition he collected on a windowsill, him and his companion exit the room into the hallway and are suddenly stopped in their tracks by this. They call out to the person, trying to gauge whether it's a friend or a foe. Suddenly, a gunshot is fired, sending the two running for their lives. Hello? Are you an explorer? Let's talk to him, he's not gonna fucking kill us. He obviously doesn't want us here. Hello? He look like Actually, don't go anymore. Oh, 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 I bet you're thinking, they'll never go back there again. Well, you'd be wrong. They in fact do return to the property later on, and go directly to the hallway they had the dangerous encounter. Once they see that there's no one there, they explore further into the school's depths to see what they've missed. Their exploration takes them upstairs where they stumble upon a room filled with wrappers and cans that suggest someone may be living there. Finally. They go back downstairs when they hear footsteps running towards them, which encourages their hasty exit. Come on. I help you. Help. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I help you. Help. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. We all know that urban explorations can be dangerous. Seemingly all common law go out the window as soon as you enter these properties. That's why groups such as Exploring with Fighters tend to bring so many people with them as they explore. The group heads to a farmhouse that has been abandoned for about 50 years or so. The previous family had suddenly up and moved in the middle of the night, leaving behind almost all of their belongings. Now apparently the family left due to the overwhelming paranormal activity. As you can see in the house, there are a lot of religious artifacts left behind, as well as Bible quotes scratched on the walls. Not too long into the investigation, they find ram skulls as well as other animal skulls and a collection of horns in the refrigerator. Oh, when sorry. out of nowhere, someone sneaks oh, up. Oh, he's taking photos. We're taking photos and stuff. Bed at night. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're good. Yeah, bed at night in my fucking house. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sir. Sorry, sir. Oh, yeah, we'll leave right now. Yeah, sorry about that. Off now. Okay. Right now. Kill that to go that way. 
Now clearly this house is abandoned and from what I can tell in the video it doesn't seem like anybody could be living in there. But that doesn't seem to stop this guy from claiming it as his own. That's our hobby. I mean, silly question, why are you at midnight night in my house taking photographs? That's just our, our hobby, we like taking pictures of forgotten of places. Of houses? In the middle of nowhere? Well, forgotten places. In the middle of the Any, night? Anything. anything. Why yeah. in the middle of the night? It's just, just so we don't bother anyone. Well... At this point, they try to explain that they didn't mean any harm, and they had no idea, but these men just didn't want to let it go. We're not here to damage anything. When you, you say it like that, yeah. We've got kids that are going to come up and damage your property. I mean, I've been here before. Well, you just, what have you been, you been here before? I've been up here before. In there? Yeah. And well, I'm don't f***ing do it again. Listen, it's a civil right. trespass, yeah. yeah? I know it's come on your... Fuck right off! Civil, civil trespass, trespass my ass. Yeah, well, we're not we're not here trespass. to cause I'm problems. That's not our... If we were here well, to do anything bad, we would have run off, wouldn't we? Shut the fucking door then if it's civil trespass. It is a civil trespass, that's all it is. We're not damaging nothing. We're respectful people. I had the f***er tied up to... I'm just getting in like you, and you fucking got Listen, in. Listen, don't call me. Stop. Right, stop. That's not. Do not call me. That's not what we're here, right? This is what it's about. I am respectful to every building I go in. I am respectful to every building I go in. As these guys try to leave, they get in their car and they realize they were being chased off. Now, the real question is what were these men doing there? Did they live there? Or were they up to something else? Or do you think that the explorers were wrong in this situation? Let's see if they follow us, yeah. Film them. You know, we, we're moving now, so... They're just making sure. I don't know if you guys can see for the light, but there, look. You can see the we headlights. We're in the middle of nowhere right now, guys. Like, crammed in the back here, there's myself, we're Flex. Uh, they're trying to get Dan. past. They're, they're trying, trying to get past Yeah, us. they're trying to get past. They're, they're waving back and forward. What are they doing? No. Just trying to intimidate us, that's all. Off. Some places are abandoned for a reason, and this is what explorer and YouTuber Abdullah El Ambari knows all too well. While exploring a condemned house in Saudi Arabia, he immediately stumbles upon a catalyst of paranormal activity. Without provocation, as soon as he steps into the residence, he hears a window upstairs creak and then a door he's walking towards opens, as if welcoming him inside. Being ever the brave soul, he runs into the open doorway and frantically looks around, hoping to find who or what caused it, and of course, finds nothing. As he explores his surroundings, he repeatedly calls out the name of God in Arabic. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. However, it seems like the poltergeist is just gearing up. Multiple doors start slamming and things sound like they're being thrown, obviously revoking his warm welcome. He runs at every noise, screaming and praying, which seems like it further incites the activity. As things escalate and get more violent, you can hear the absolute terror in his voice and his rapid breathing. Finally, he is literally run out of the house by disembodied footsteps stomping down the stairs. Luckily, he is able to make it out of the house in one piece. Bismillah, Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim. 
If you guys are into urban explorations as much as we are, then there's no doubt that you know who the fam is. And if you haven't seen him on YouTube, maybe you've seen his videos featured on national television. This next exploration would ensure that I would never explore on my own. Right off the bat, he starts hearing people walking around but can't seem to find them. But he doesn't need to see them when he hears slamming time and time again, almost as if they're trying to drive him out. Alright, make sure you guys smash that like button because we're about to- Whoa! What the fuck? What the hell was that? Hello? Hello? Why do I keep on hearing all these freaking noises, guys? This is not fun when you're by yourself. Okay, there's somebody here. There's gotta be somebody here. Not long after, they start to take it up a notch by throwing things at him. Ah! Oh my god, what the hell? Dude, what in the hell, guys? Watch as he explores the basement. He walks up a small set of stairs to only have things thrown at him yet again. Hours. Whoa, what is this? Whoa, check this out, guys. You can actually get out right here. What the hell? Whoa, what the? Oh, what the hell? Oh my god, dude. Now, admittedly, this next part took me a second to really appreciate what was going on. Let's see if you could spot it the first time. And creepy. Alright. Oh, this thing is moving. What the hell? Watch as the shadow figure in the back walks clear across the hallway, comes to a complete stop, then stares at him and runs off. Now the fan mentions time and time again he believes there has to be multiple people in this building trying to scare him. Could this be one of them? Now this investigation was cut short after he fell into some sort of storm drain resulting in a cut up leg as well as breaking his camera. This guy is either absolutely badass or completely insane. Did I mention that the fam suffers from a health condition that seriously affects his vision? So not only does he explore these places alone, in the dark, seemingly unarmed, but on top of that, he just broke his best source of vision. I don't know if I would ever explore these places alone, so hats off to him. Please, make sure to go check out his channel. Some of his videos are absolutely fantastic. Hey guys, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. We really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, hit the like button, flick that little bell up there, and beat that subscribe button like the red-headed stepchild it is. And as always, until next time, spooky later.